good day friends it is me hl montek and i'm here to get you started on your gantt chart so let's get cracking i do want to give you a quick note make sure you have your flight plan correct before you move on to this step once you are approved you can come down and launch your google sheet when this one pops up you do need to click make a copy instead of the name copy of put your name up in front i'm going to put my mic h so i can keep track of it and then this is the first time we've had to fill in the flight. You can see here it's happening on December 9th, and then we need to look back at our flight plan to fill in the details. I'm not gonna tell you the right hours, but I will mention that they said that it happens at 7.45 a.m. on December 19th. So when we look at our chart, this is 7, 7.15, 7.30, 7.45. And then we need to fill in the flight with the blue color. Now, it's a certain number of hours that you learned on that flight plan. I'm not going to tell you the right number. I will tell you that this is the wrong number. Once you have your flight in correctly, then you can start checking the crew. To do that, you'll launch the crew request information. When this screen pops up, make sure you remember that our flight had to be an hour before, 30 minutes after they must rest, which was taken care of in this column, and they can't have 60 hours of flight time in a week. The people with the most seniority get the flight if there's a tie, and if a person's not allowed to fly, just leave their names blank. You can zoom in so you can see it better. And we need to solve for all of these people with the captains being in green, the first officers being in orange, and the flight attendants being in purple. Remember, our flight was on December 19th, and it started at 745. So when you check this first person, you can see that they are available. And also, we need to remember that they can't have more than 60 hours. So we double check that here as well. Then you can return to your chart. And since this person was available, you fill them in for the whole flight. I'm gonna say this once again. Remember, this is a fake end. You've gotta have the correct end, which I'm not gonna give you. But if the person's available for the whole flight, then you fill them in. When you return to your crew request, I'm gonna remind you of dates off. Notice this person has a day off, so we would ignore them on the 19th. Our flight was on the 19th, they wanted that day off. Also remember, you've gotta keep track of your hours. If somebody doesn't have enough hours left, you only fill in the portion that they are available. So this person would be available for two hours of our flight, however long it is, because once again, I'm not giving you that right answer. Once again, friends, you are filling these in with green, orange and purple when you pick the colors it's cool to use the ones that are built in and yours will be longer because i'm guaranteeing you that flight takes longer than i'm showing you on the video and then use those same steps to solve for everybody else and friends when you've got this gantt chart finished you can actually turn in the gantt chart in google classroom and lastly friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed before what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day